Park in Hershey, Pennsylvania. We are gonna check out all the new stuff here, including this new coaster right behind me called Candymonium. Wow, it just went by. It looks awesome, I'm so excited. We're just gonna hang out and have a really awesome day in Hershey. Let's do it. So along with this new coaster, Hershey Park has added a Starbucks right when you walk in. Very happy about that, especially during PSL season. All right, so we have made it over to Candymonium, Hershey's newest coaster. There it goes. It looks so awesome. I am very sad because I personally cannot ride it today due to some personal reasons, but I do have my friend as my test rabbit today, my friend Jamie, which you can follow her on TikTok. I'll put the link below. And she's going to grab my GoPro, and we're gonna check out Candymonium together via GoPro, so let's do it. So before my friend Jamie got on the ride, they told us we are not allowed to film the ride on the GoPro or on any camera, but so recap, how was it? It was a lot of fun, uh, nice high momentum going up and it drops you right freaking away and then you're tossing and turning and it was a good time, it was a good time, I can't, I can't lie. So since it was new, was it like super smooth? It was, it was so smooth, so smooth. Sad I missed that one, but Let's keep going, that's awesome. That is Candymonium, the newest ride at Hershey Park. Woo! Let's keep having some fun. Let's have a sweet day. Yes. <laughs> so here's what the crowd levels are like today. Um, this is a pretty bottlenecked area and it's not that bad. Um, and most of the wait time shown on the app are the, the longest wait time I see is 30 minutes and that's on very few rides. So I think we're gonna be able to get a lot done today before it starts to rain. <laughs> okay, that's super creepy. It's just like a dried out tidal force. <laughs> We're walking toward the boardwalk, which is mostly water rides, but there are a few rides over here that I personally love and I can't wait to get on. You guys, I'm so excited because we made it to my first official ride of the day, Laugh Track. This is my favorite ride in Hershey Park. It is an indoor coaster. It's super smooth. Um, it's like, it's not, I wouldn't say it's a kiddie coaster, but it's like, it's nothing crazy. Um, and it's just a lot of fun. And the queue is fun. It's a 30 minute wait right now. I am so excited. You're basically going through like a fun house carnival thing. <laughs> Um, or as my friend said, you're going through a horror movie if you really, uh, if you really want to look at it that way, which, you know, maybe, maybe we should because that's horrifying. Why is, I don't remember this, that is horrifying. So they have this really cute uh, fun house photo op thing, but they have a garbage can blocking it so you can't do it right now. This is, I love this ride because this is like the only ride queue that has like some fun elements to it. Ooh, I'm finally tall for once in my life. <laughs> Look at these legs. Hey, we're short now. Shorter. And I really thought that all of these steps from these theme parks would help me lean out. 
I'm so excited we made it. I can't wait to go on this ride. It is so much fun. Look how cute everything is. It is just like going through a giant fun house in black light. Can't wait for this. Sidewinder is closed. It is such a cool coaster. It goes forward and then it goes backwards. It is just such a fun ride. Um, this and a few other really good coasters are down today, like uh, over here actually. Storm Runner, which is a launch coaster, this red one. It It's so awesome, uh, but I believe due to limited uh, staff and COVID and, and all of it, uh, and definitely from losing money, from missing out on some of the season. Just can't have everything open. You guys, I found the must get snack at Hershey Park. It is a hand roll pretzel with chocolate chips. They also have cinnamon sugar, but this is made with Hershey's chocolate and it's so yummy. It's buttery and salty and chocolatey. It is just amazing definitely the must get snack at hershey park this is a cinnamon sugar hand rolled pretzel or what's left of it from a place called fruit shack at pioneer pete's these have smoothies and chocolate chip pretzels but you're not going to see that because i already ate it and yeah they're really really good and soft and doughy and everything that's good in this world but it was so loud from the music and the music finally stopped but by the time the music stopped i finished what was a really good Italian sausage from Worst Burry Grill. And they also comes with chips and you can add on the chili cheese, which I did, even though I can't eat any of it because it's just too much food. Um, but super, super yummy food. Uh, a lot of things are closed right now, but that is open. And there is Moe's Southwest Grill that's open. There's other grills that are open and there's a Nathan's open. Um, unfortunately, the place with the crab fries is closed, but you know, can't have it all. And it started to rain, but I got my raincoat, so I'm good. Now we're gonna head over to the Reese's Cup Challenge, which is kind of like Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger spin, but with Reese's instead. So I'm all for that. Maybe a little competition with my friends. Maybe Loser buys me a pumpkin spice latte. I don't know. Well, no, a pumpkin cold brew. Cold brew is so much better. Never let anyone tell you it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so my friend pointed out that I got super defensive about the pumpkin spice and I am super defensive because the the cup the pumpkin cold brew my guys is is far greater than the pumpkin spice latte because with the pumpkin spice latte you're just getting pumps and pumps of sugar no with the cold brew you're actually getting real cold brew coffee nothing beats a cold brew coffee especially on a summer day even in the rain you can't tell me it has the foam on top with the pumpkin spice on top, I'm right. I'm right, the pumpkin's cold brew is far superior. Let me know if you agree with me in the comments. And if you don't, you're wrong, but I still respect you. But I'm correct. So as long as they're letting people go on, uh, Danny's gonna hop on Fahrenheit. You basically just go straight up and straight down and lots of things in between. So let's see if this can be a thing. All right, I'm on the queue. I'm not gonna go on, but I do have my friend gonna go on for me. That's Danny right there. She's gonna brave the Fahrenheit. It is straight up, straight down. Are you nervous? No. <laughs> and that's why she's doing it. Oh my God. <laughs> oh no. Oh my God. Oh my
right, Dan, how was Fahrenheit? It was really great. Um, our friends chickened out of it, so then I went by myself. She just escorted me. Um, but yeah, the most intimidating part was going up because it's like a 90 degree, but it honestly, after that, it's great. It's not that intimidating. Right, tell We're gonna head over to the Reese's Cup Challenge. It is like the Buzz Lightyear kind of ride. So super fun. Uh, I'm gonna try to get my friends to make a bet with me. I don't know if they will, but I hope they do. You can't let him get away with the cup. Don't let Mint get away. It is not like Christmas. All of you. It really smells like candy. That is so cool. Did I win? Ooh, I win! Please remain seated until your Reese's transport has come to a complete stop. I won! Oh my god! You guys, I have never won anything like that before. Never won Buzz Lightyear. Never won Toy Story Mania. I just went on the Reese's Cup Challenge. I'm so happy right now. Like, I, I feel so proud. It's, I, I really, I'm, this makes me so happy. I don't care. My friends are laughing at me because I sound crazy, but I have never won anything like that before, and I'm super proud, and I'm going to be happy about it. Be proud of your accomplishments, no matter where they are, even if they're in a theme park. So, you guys, Hershey has a monorail. Yes, they have a monorail, but their monorail is not a method of transportation. It is... Well, it is a method of transportation, but it only really just kind of loops you around the park. So it's like the people mover mixed with the monorail in one. And we just had to ride it because how could we not if it's called the monorail? By the way, the pumpkin cold brew spice gods definitely were on my side because now I get a pumpkin cold brew from my friends if they hold up to their deal. They're not. They're not, okay. <laughs> I'm still gonna get one. Here's the monorail. So excited. <gasps> I'm so happy. <laughs> so sit back, relax, and enjoy the view. The 330-foot kissing tower. The cabin windows are shaped like our world-renowned Hershey's Kisses. First manufactured here in 1907. <laughs> it's the original Hershey's Chocolate Factory, started by our founder, Milton Hershey, in 1905. Hershey Park truly has something for everyone. Wow, you guys, it was really lovely. Like, it was a guided tour. It took us outside of the park, looking at the school and the factory. I've never been on this before. This was really a lovely treat. It's legit, like, three and a half minutes, and it's just it's just a really nice ride. Um, I so recommend this. Like, this might have been my favorite ride of the day. I don't know. Maybe it was. That was just, like, a really lovely little ride, seeing everything. I don't know, way to go monorail. If you're coming to Hershey Park, make sure you check out Cookies and Donuts. Here's why. Stop it, stop it. That is, that is like the biggest donut I've ever seen. I don't know if you can tell. Okay, you can tell by the plate. This is a china, this is a full-size china plate and it takes up the entire plate. This is a huge shareable snack. Are we getting it or no? No, all right, we're not getting it because both are up. This is a huge, terrible snack. If you're looking for something sweet, this is this might be what you're looking for. Any demis? Any demis? Any demis? No. What a surprise. I'll never find my name. All right, y'all. If they open a Starbucks here, you know I'm not leaving without a pumpkin cold brew. picked up my pumpkin cold brew because of course I was. Uh, they're gonna add a Starbucks here. I'm gonna take advantage of this, especially during pumpkin cold brew season. All right, so I'm super excited. This is my favorite part about Hershey. We are leaving the park. We are going across the street to the factory to do the chocolate tour. 
I am so excited. This is a free tour that you can do. You don't even have to have a park ticket. You can just go to the factory. You can go to the giant Hershey shop they have afterwards. Make your own candy and do the tour. It's awesome. I'm so excited. Let's do it. exiting through the gift shop. There are so many cute things. Look at these little espresso cups and a snow globe. Your own Reese's cup fusion amplifier, your blaster from the game. That is so dope. The merch is really cool. There is different scented um, candles. There's Whoppers, Almond Joys, uh, Twizzlers, Mr. Good Bar. I kind of want to get the Mr. Good Bar scented candle. That's so awesome. And they have Hershey Dominoes. Why? I don't know why, but why not, I guess, right? What is it? It's just like a giant Hershey Kiss? Oh, it's a giant, oh, it's a candy dish that looks like a Hershey Kiss. That's actually really nice. How much is that? 20 bucks, not bad. That is not bad, 20 bucks. All right, we are hustling, bustling over to Hershey's Chocolate World for the tour. The tour is open until eight o'clock. The park closes at seven o'clock. What we didn't know, is that you need reservations. But my friends ran ahead and they were so nice because I don't think people realize that you need reservations. And thank you so much, you too. So they are letting us on the ride. We are trying to get to our friends. Whew. Walking really fast, really excited. So they were super nice. They were not at capacity, so they let us in, but make sure you go onto Hershey's website. You cannot do it from the app and get a reservation. The reservations are free, but you still have to make them. Reservation system is actually is actually really nice because we're walking right onto the tour and normally like this could be like an hour wait or more so nice <laughs> Everyone ready? Let's go. Spreads carefully select soy and combine beans from various countries in precise amounts. Next, we quickly cool the beans and feed them into our breaking chamber, which packs over the shells at high speed. Hershey's chocolate goodness is finally ready to be packaged. Like Hershey's milk chocolate and special dark bars. Hey, 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 h
guys, it was so much fun. You cannot come to Hershey Park and not take the chocolate tour. Just remember to get that reservation ahead of time. It is still free, but you just have to reserve online. And of course, at the end of the tour, I remember they used to give out a Hershey kiss, a single Hershey, Hershey kiss. They gave me a full mini Hershey bar. Like, this is the best day ever. Uh, I'm gonna go look at some more chocolate and uh, see what I can get. So this is the amazing candy machine. You get to pick up a jar, um, you get to pick up a bucket rather, and fill it up with all your favorite Hershey candies. So we have, it's all the mini ones. So there's Reese's, oh there's, there's a white Reese's? I did not know that. Uh, the little miniatures, milk chocolate, almond, Hershey Kisses in all different flavors, Jolly Ranchers, Fruity Bash, Jolly Ranchers, super yummy, super cool to like pick what you want. And there was the prizes right there. There's also like a food court in here where you can get actual food. You can get some sweets some ice cream. Um, they have this entire wall back here for the ingredients to make your own s'mores at home. And here is their new signature, Kit Kat Apple Pie Milkshake. It looks incredible. It looks like a white Kit Kat, which I didn't even know existed, but of course they do. Um, Kit Kat's one of my favorites. Definitely the most underrated candy because it's basically like a cookie. Um, so that looks awesome. I'm gonna skip today since I got myself a pumpkin cold brew, but these look awesome. It's a s'more shake. Just absolutely delicious. There is a, oh my gosh, there's one with a Reese's peanut butter cup. Cannot go wrong here. One of my favorite pieces of merchandise in Hershey Park is the oversized kisses and chocolate bars. These are massive. They're such fun like gifts to take home or maybe like a family treat to take home. Oh, there's like so many more now since the last time I was here. Look, they have giant Kit Kats now. I kind of want that. Giant Jolly Rancher, giant Reese's Cups. And honestly, oh, they're the world's largest. That's pretty cool. And really, it's not terrible price for how big it is and what you're getting. Um, so just, there's so much. I mean, yeah, it's all Hershey stuff, but like, if you like Hershey's, if you like candy I mean like you're this is where to be at absolutely they also have these are really good stocking stuffers I've used these before stocking stuffers the um, they're Hershey kisses but they're like bigger but they're not like the huge huge ones so they're those are really nice and they come even bigger if you want bigger and they're they're just really nice like stocking stuffers or little trip gifts that you bring home that are easily packable so I didn't know that this was a thing, but there's like different flavor of Kit Kats besides just like the green tea ones, which I, I'm sad I don't see the green tea ones here. Um, I guess I have to wait till I'm back in Disney at Mitsukoshi to get them. <laughs> but uh, these look so dope. Uh, again, Kit Kats, totally the most underrated candy bar. A few years ago when I was here last time, uh, I did, they added this 4D chocolate movie. It's really, like, it's cute. It's good for the kids, I guess, if, you know, you're kind of, like, indoors wanting to do something. It's additional charge. I believe when I went, it was, like, 6 or $8. Um, I don't really recommend it, uh, especially just if you're an adult. But if you have kids and you're just looking for something to do, sure, it's a short little movie. It's kind of cute, but not really worth it my time today for sure. Well friends, it has been such a fun, fun day back at Hershey Park. I love coming here. I try to come at least like once every couple years, see what's new, have some fun. Um, I was really sad that a lot of the rides that 
I like were close but understandable. They are very short staffed. They're also operating at 25% capacity. I also found out the way they're cleaning their rides is the most different from any park I've been to so far. They are cleaning it every 24 hours. They said they have a solution that if any germs touch it, touch the surface, that it goes away. I don't know how that works. The guy said to me, there's a solution, blah, 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 science words, and it's clean. So, I mean, I don't expect them to know everything, but like, <laughs> I would like to kind of know what's going on. But there was so much hand sanitizer around the park, which was great, and it was the foamy Purell, so it wasn't like sticky, like the Disney uh, hand sanitizer. It was a lot of fun today. I. I don't know if I recommend making a whole trip out of coming here because there is a lot closed right now, but when things reopen, definitely come to Hershey. Hershey is so much fun. They have two hotels. They have the Hershey Hotel and the Hershey Lodge. I love the Hershey Lodge. It's really cute. Um, and it's free transportation to the parks. And yeah, but uh, only if you're local, I'd say right now, or semi-local like I am to make the trip because it's still fun. It's still very cute. There is just, a lot of things that are missing uh, attraction wise uh, and also the characters weren't anywhere they do have the Hershey bar and the Reese's bar like all of them in like those kind of face characters sometimes roaming around I thought maybe they'd be out socially distancing but they were not but that's okay um, it's not that big of a deal that we didn't see them uh, had so much fun today. I hope you guys had fun too. If you, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and please consider subscribing if you have not. And until next time, you guys, I hope you get yourself into some high drinks like I did today. And of course, bye bye.